My name is Marion Bloom, and uh, I am a writer uh, for 50 years, more than 50 years actually. My first contract I signed 51 years ago. And uh, I don't know how many books I published, but probably more than 30 most important uh, novels uh, that I can remember um, <laughs> might be here in the library. Uh, I wrote uh, several children books as well. I started writing children books and I was a filmmaker. Uh, actually before I wrote my first uh, novel that became a bestseller in 1983, I'd already made a couple of films for TV and for um, film houses. And uh, it is 40 years ago, 41 maybe, that uh, my uh, novel Geen Gewoon Indisch Meisje uh, came out and in the same year I made my documentary about my roots, um, het land van mijn ouders, my parents country. I, I actually gave it the English title for the English version uh, and never the twain shall meet uh, in the same year in 1983. So all of a sudden I was well known as a writer because I published the book Geen Gewoon Indisch Meisje, which was about my roots and the documentary that also have to do with my background because my uh, parents, my grandparents and my great grandparents, they uh, were living in Indonesia. I uh, was intrigued by history and to be able to write my first novel, I had to do a lo lot of research. And the research was not easy to um, get in the Netherlands. A lot was archived. And also for my documentary, I needed to find a way to know what was actually, um, what the facts were, because somehow the facts were hard to get. And so we had to uh, read the books in English most of the time because it was more written by uh, people from abroad. So step by step I also uh, realized I had to do interviews and had to interview um, not only my family but many people from the uh, first generation as well as people in Indonesia. So I, I made many friends uh, when I was doing all the interviews I made many friends here in Indonesia and uh, with people who have uh, been fighting uh, for the revolution. And uh, they taught me a lot about their life, not only about their lives, but also about colonial times. And uh, this knowledge I never learned in school, of course. Um, so that was a new world for me to discover. And uh, I felt like I had to write about all of that. And it resulted in the book, which is called Indo, and that I published in 2020. And uh, it's based on my personal uh, research and also based on my personal backgrounds. And on by, by, by trying to find out what the family tree was like, uh, I understood it's almost like a metaphor for uh, the Dutch colony and uh, about what happens to people when uh, one country is colonizing another country. And it's not black and white in the sense of that people in who were um, in the army that they were actually uh, the, the bad guys. No, they often had no choice. They were boys 15 years old, 16 years old, and they were in orphan houses and, and they had no choice. They were just put in the army. Or people were uh, kind of forced because the tax 
was so high that Indonesian people didn't have, know how to survive unless they would uh, enter the army because then at least they had some money to buy food for the kids. And uh, if you are uh, really going there, you understand that it's the victims are everywhere. And that's why I want to dig more and more in history and try to get the, the different layers of life and of relationships and of yeah, how life is, uh, how the community is built so that you understand more and more what you, uh, what kind of role you're playing in it. And this awareness, yeah, I'm always trying to create awareness with my books, can help you make decisions in life. I think if you want to write, it's very important to be, to have the courage to go into the depth. You have to, you will have to talk with your family, with, with other people to understand more about yourself. And um, it is also important to know your own motives in life, not to stay on the surface, but to dare to see all of it. I think being a writer, you also cannot think in black and white. You have to find all the gray stages in between, because people are not just bad or just good. And you write a good book if you understand more about people and you understand their motives. And uh, to write about people, you have to know who you are yourself and be able to also even identify with the bad guys. You, know? uh, you have to dare to uh, identify yourself with anybody to be able to be a good writer. Unless you want to write fairy tales, because with the <laughs> well, or for the big cinemas, yeah, then there is no uh, subtlety. Then, yeah, you can make uh, the bad guys and the good guys, etc. But if you want to write novels, literature, you will have to find it all from here and be a and have the courage to look at it. On uh, Sunday, um, we'll talk about the art of writing. And uh, I think that everybody, every person who is an artist, but especially the writers, they have a gold mine. They just have to find the gold, to dig in the gold mine. We all have a gold mine. Do you think you had a bad youth? Do you think your parents were awful? Or you think you had no parents and so your life was awful uh, during your youth? If you look at it as a gold mine, that every fact that you went through, you survived, taught you something. You have to go to the pain. If you're able to go to the pain, you'll be a good writer.